Today we're talking about margin border and padding, which are ways of uh, positioning uh, content inside a dynamic flow layout. And in this diagram, border is represented by the red arrows, which is sort of the space between the border and other objects that are in the uh, layout. And border is the brown, which is the square box around the content. And padding is the uh, space between the content and the border. And there's three formats of margin and padding. <coughs> And in every case, they represent four values. You can say margin equals 30 or padding equals 30. It's the same format for both. And that would mean it's 30 left, 30 top, 30 right, and 30 bottom, which is the ordering in uh, uh, XAML. Or you can say padding equals 15, comma 20. And that would be 15 left, 20 top, 15 right and 20 bottom. Or you can say margin equals 5 comma 10 comma 15 comma 20 and that would be 5 left, 10 top, 15 right and 20 bottom. In other words you specify all the four parameters explicitly instead of using a shorthand with uh, less values. And the main attributes of border other than margin and padding, which you can use in border, are border brush, which shows the color of the border, which in, in Photoshop will be known as stroke. Our border thickness, which is the thickness of the border in pixels. Our background, which is the color inside the border, which in Photoshop will be known as fill. So in the code we're looking at, I sort of try and show examples of all this and it should be noted that one of the values of border is a border thickness of zero in which case the margin and the padding just become spacing for the content and you never see the actual border it's there but it's invisible so once again we have a grid whose only child is a stack panel and within the stack panel it has three children a border, another border. In the commented out code it would be a third border but instead we have a text block directly and the children of all the borders are text blocks. They use a font family of Tahoma and a font size of 30 and then the content is shown between the opening and closing tabs which is two ways of showing content. And in the first case we use the uh, one parameter for both margin and padding and the second case we use the two parameter technique and in the third case we use the three the four parameter technique and in the third case I got rid of the border altogether since the border thickness by default is zero and since it's zero anyhow we can just specify the padding and the margin directly in the text block and create exactly the same effect with the four parameters. So as you can see the spacing is the margin is between the objects and the container in, the, in some cases and the padding is between the uh, border and the content which is the text block so the padding is in here. And I think that pretty much covers the whole thing. So if we compile and run this, it's almost an academic exercise in WPF since the compiled version looks identical to the design view version. But uh, as you can see, it works pretty effectively in uh, spacing out content and uh, dynamic flow type layout such as stack panel and grid. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.